We've all heard the expression, diamonds in the rough. But what you may not have heard about is where to find them when it comes to using your macro lens. Adorama TV presents You Keep Shooting with Brian Peterson, where you'll learn unique and creative techniques that will elevate your photography skills. Here's your host, Brian Peterson. Well, as you possibly can see, we've got three students here laying on the ground, and they're all absolutely fascinated with photographing dewdrop-laden grasses backlit by the sun and subsequently getting these wonderful images of specular highlights. And as several students have already commented, it has the impression of diamonds. Hi, I'm Brian Peterson, and you're watching Adorama TV. Now just as a quick sidebar, we've all got our macro lenses and if you're looking for a macro lens, Adorama is the place to go. Why? Because you can't get any service that's better and you can't get prices that are lower. So do what I do and you shop at Adorama. We find ourselves here in Jekyll Island, Georgia, home of the super rich. Well, not surprisingly then, we find ourselves being drawn to what looks like diamond specular highlight photographs. So lo and behold, the two go together. The super rich live here and they also have amongst the grasses here, they're diamonds as we are calling these photographs. So macro lens, get in close, but the key to this shot is to shoot this dew laden grass backlit. That's the biggest mistake photographers make. They either shoot it from the side or they shoot it from the front. You can't get the specular highlight effect unless you are shooting backlit. Sun is up here coming in this direction as a result all of that dew laden grass has multiple multiple specular highlights and just to be clear a specular highlight is any out of focus spot of light with all those dew drops each one is recording the sun itself therefore you've got multiple drops of water backlit we focus on just a couple and everything else beyond is a specular diamond highlight Real simple trick. As far as exposure is concerned, I've recommended to my students, everybody using here about f11, f16, and subsequently to be parallel. Make sure your sensor is parallel to the subject you're photographing. And finally, this is something you're more than welcome to shoot an aperture priority if you so choose. It's not a problem. The backlight's not that strong. So, Shooting the diamonds here in gorgeous Jekyll Island, this is Brian Peterson reminding you to keep shooting. For all the latest photography, video, and computer gear, visit Adorama.com. Place your order by 8 p.m. and it ships the same day. Plus, next time you're in New York City, be sure to visit our store located on 18th Street between 5th and 6th Avenue.